What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we got a bunch of new tips and tricks in Era of Conquest. Click and sub for more amazing gaming content. We are almost at 15,000 subscribers. So hit the subscribe button if you're new and turn on the notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my amazing videos. It is greatly appreciated. I got a bunch of extra new codes that was found by some of my guild members in this game. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to post the entire list of all the currently known codes that work. So I'm gonna go over how to increase your hero's level limit for their skills, as well as I wanna touch a little bit of base on the city expansion event that's going on too, because there's a lot of good information for new <gasps> players to kind of go over that, because you can get a lot of free resources in the city expansion by just playing the game and just being an active player. That's really what this game is. It's all about promoting active players. All right, so let's head over to our heroes first. Now, you're going to be increasing your hero's skill cards with gold or coins, whatever you want to refer to it as. Top left corner, you're going to see the icon. These are our coins or gold. Now, your first main priority is trying to unlock all three of your hero skill slots because it's going to help you a tremendous amount when it comes to battles. Having that second and third skill slot means you can just put on another skill and then you can really combo off depending on your build you're going with. If you're going with the burn build, then it's highly, hey, new subscriber, thanks for subscribing. It is highly important to have all of your skills, the third skill unlocked specifically for the burn build because the burn build is very combo oriented. So you wanna have all of your skills going off at once to really get maximum proficiency from those burning effects. So in order to go ahead and unlock that third one, you'll see our hero has to be level 20, but more importantly, our main skill has to be level 12. Now you can get them to level 10 initially when you first start off the game, but then you get hit with a really hard wall. You have to increase your level limit. So I already did it once, so I have a maximum of level 11 for all of my skill cards now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna see if I click enhance, it's gonna say we need to go to the military academy and increase our level cap. The military academy is a building you're gonna have to build just as you go ahead and progress through the game. So we're gonna click confirm and it's gonna instantly take us to the military academy and it's gonna open up this additional window. So what I like to refer to this as kind of our skill research. So we're gonna have four different books and what we need is these little scrolls in the top right corner. It's right next to our gold coins. We click this little plus icon. We can go ahead and exchange our gold coins for these research fund scrolls. You're gonna see that you need a lot of them in order to go ahead and research these different books. You gotta kinda do them in order, so it's gonna go one, two, three, and then the main one is gonna be the skill arcane, and this is where we get our skill cap extension increase. So I already did my first level one research area. You'll see I have all of these unlocked, so I already got it at an extra one. Next, we're gonna get this one to two. And you're gonna see that aside from that, we're also getting some coin loot increases as well. 0.75 for each one of these. And then the main one, we're getting an extra loot bonus, but also a normal attack bonus as well. Gold coins in this game is like the scarce and the hardest resource to get. It is the most valuable. Now there's a couple different ways that we can go about getting our coins. The main one you'll see it says resource produced in the gold mine. So if we back out of here and we go to our city area and we have our gold mine just naturally upgrading this and collecting this over time we're just going to get some free gold. So you should always have your gold mine at the highest level possible. Aside from your gold mine there's another way which if we go in the top left corner and we go to our achievements we're going to get some free gold as well so advance any six star hero five times you'll see we get 3,000 gold the main way to get a ton of gold really fast is going to be through your relics so we're gonna go to the advancement at the bottom we're gonna click on relics and then we're going to go to the relic stragglers now you'll see that there's a bunch of different levels. We've got level threes all the way up to level sevens currently. And as we go ahead and destroy these, we have guaranteed drops. So these are the civilization medals. You need these in order to go ahead and upgrade your kingdom. Then we have our coins, AKA gold or gold coins, whatever you wanna call them. And depending on what level you go ahead and destroy, you're going to get a certain amount. 
obviously the higher the level the relic straggler the more gold coins you're going to get so just attack the highest level you possibly can right now i'm able to go ahead and attack level sevens so that's what i've been doing uh, aside from that you're going to see the little arrow pointing up next to it this is the extra bonuses that we're getting from our military academy research that we did so remember how we went ahead and let's go to this area and we'll click here remember how we went ahead and we did these and we're getting these extra coin loot that's where that coin loot bonus is coming from every time we do those relics it's increasing the amount of coins we get let's head back over to our relics so what you're going to do is you're just going to come in here choose whatever highest one you can do you're going to click purify it's going to open up the window take you to the area and then you're just going to click purify now the important part about this is though you can't just kind of do this endlessly you have to be very cautious about how you do these so that's why i said it's very important to attack the highest level because you're going to need these specific emblem scroll thingies whatever you want to call them in order to go ahead and do a purification aka attack one of these relic stragglers so you'll see that I already used all mine up, so I have zero out of one. If I click purify right now, it's gonna say I don't have enough. They're called Oath Keepers Cypher Text. Now, if we go in the top left corner and it's right here where it says six out of 10, we're going to get this. We have our war order and our relic scrolls. So I already have six out of 10 and this is just gonna tell you what they're used for, but this is what we need, the relic scrolls. These are used so that we can go ahead and attack those stragglers and get that huge rush of gold coins. From the second day after the server opens, every day at 5 UTC, we get three relic scrolls automatically. The maximum that we can recover is 10. So you can hold a maximum of 10, but we're only gonna get three per day. So very, very careful about these. You don't wanna go ahead and attack those lower levels. Moving on from there, we have our city expansion. Now this event is going on. I'm actually kind of falling behind because we just went and we have to go ahead and this next one just started. But we have this one in progress right now. It's our quest. We're in the rally area. And it's a really simple, easy thing that you should be doing. You don't even have to be super strong. All you got to do is go ahead and be active and compete in it. And what we're doing is we're just capturing stronghold territories. So even if we just click this little arrow icon, it will instantly take us to it. But I wanna show you just step-by-step step how to get there and everything. So the different quests we have is get occupation points from controlling the Southern stronghold in zone wilderness. And we're gonna get these, which is just gonna increase our points. And then once we hit certain increments on this, we're gonna get additional rewards, but we're also gonna get these basic resource chests. And these are really important because you may seem like you have a lot of resources now, but once you get to those higher levels in your buildings, you're gonna need tons of resources and you're gonna be kicking yourself if you didn't participate in this and get all of these just free resources. There's really no reason for you not to go ahead and participate in this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the sandbox overview. We're gonna click out of this and this is the sandbox where we can see us controlling the territory. So we have this area and these little ones that are kind of like a lighter color, these are new ones that we have just taken over. So in order to control one of these hexagons, you have to control all five different strongholds. And you'll see for this instance, we have a west, a north, east, a center, a south, and a southeast. We already control all of these, that's why it's blue and it's connected to our territory. So we're gonna go all the way down here. My character is already over here. We're gonna click on this. And this is the last rebel stronghold that we need to go ahead and occupy. And then we'll have this territory. And this is all we're doing for that city expansion event. So I'm just gonna click where it says South Rebels and it's gonna instantly take me there. Now we already went ahead and attacked it. You'll see all of my lovely Alliance members already attacked it. We have an occupation time of 15 minutes. And all we're gonna do is go here and we're just going to send, we're just gonna click Occupy, and I'm just gonna send one of my marches there to Occupy it, and all they're doing is garrisoning it. 
So when you're going up against other live players, like another live alliance, you're gonna be battling for these different strongholds. You're gonna be trying to capture it from, an, uh, from another alliance so that way you can control the territory. And you're gonna to wanna to be putting garrisons, extra troops in there in case you do go ahead and get attacked from another alliance. Right now, we don't have to worry about that, but there is an occupation time and the more troops that your alliance has in there, the faster that timer will go. So that way you can capture it faster. If we go to city expansion, while our march is just sitting in there and just being garrisoned, we're gonna just get points over time. And then once we get 100 points, we'll get this and then 300 and then 600. It goes fairly fast too. So we still got 11 seconds. They're right there, they're almost there. And that's all you're doing. It's super simple. And then from there, the next one we're probably gonna have to take over is one of these two, either this one or this one. And you just kind of follow it. It's super simple, not overly complicated. Just follow that and you'll, you'll get a ton of free resources and you'll help out your account a tremendous amount. And you'll also help your alliance grow and get stronger as well. But that is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. Stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. Uh.